Just wanted to give you an update. It does feel really good to be busy and to have orders basically back to back. Good afternoon, my name is Russ and welcome to my channel. On my channel, I'll give you tips on how to improve your earnings and ratings for food delivery companies. Today, I wanna share my inspiration thanks to John at the McFall RI YouTube channel. You should check it out. You know, he's inspired by Sean from Think Media, and I've seen their their uh, material as well, and it's good. So I'm just pressing record right now. So how's my morning been? Pretty good. I've delivered for three hours from roughly 9.20 to 12.20. It's hot out. <laughs> right now it says 89 degrees, which is pretty warm. And of course, to be kind for the audio, I've turned my car off with no air conditioning. So don't worry, this video is not going to take long. I just want to share that I started off this morning with a nice breakfast of kefir. Have you ever had that before? Well, I make my own and it's pretty good. But that was hours ago and I'm getting hungry now, which is a shame because it's the lunch rush when I'm busy. But that's okay, I'm going to fit a meal in otherwise. That way I can keep delivering as I go. So anyway, this morning I started off and I had one quick order. Then on my second order, check out this video clip from my dash cam. And you can see that this lady tried to hit me with her body. Anyway, I was trying to be very careful and I was scared that second I saw movement, I slammed on the brakes. So check out that video. What do you think of that? Close call, right? You know, I don't need any more vehicle accidents and especially don't want to hurt anybody. Thankfully, the damage that happened to my car was just that to the car. And I could show you that in a second. I got it fixed. Anyway, so I did a total of six deliveries this morning and I would have had seven, but uh, there was an Uber order that got canceled. And so I got paid $3 for my time because I called customer support to let them know the problem. And then they, of course, paid out for my time. So just looking on here, I made a total of roughly $65 for six orders, which is good. I drove 40 miles. And so that works out to be $1.62 per mile and almost $22 per an hour, which is pretty decent. Because I'll tell you what, the last few weeks, it's been demoralizing. It's been rather slow. And I'll multi-app. I'll have Instacart on, Corner Shop, uh, Uber Eats, and Grubhub going at the same time. And then I'll switch back and forth to keep busy. And it has been sad because for weeks now, it's been slow. My goal is always to get $100 during the day. And that that's just limiting because of my availability during the day. I know I could probably get more at night. I just can't get out then. Anyway, just wanted to give you an update. It does feel really good to be busy and to have orders basically back to back. It is encouraging. So I want to get back out there and make some more money and bring back those glory days of being able to earn at least $200 in a day. Those were the good old days a couple years ago. All right, just wanted to give this quick update. And oh, I also want to mention too, soon you're going to see the uh, video come out for the Boblov M5 body camera. And I've been using this uh, to document my deliveries today as well. So it's a good camera. So I don't know if you recall in previous videos when I was out doing corner shop, I got hit here back in December. Anyway, the body work finally got done, and uh, that's another story in itself. And they, the gentleman was able to repair the frame in here, which is really nice. So I don't need anybody else trying to hit my car. And just to add on to that as well, you know, I've never really had any traffic accidents. And so this is the first time because of the age of my car, it got totaled out. And so I bought it back from the insurance. And so it's gonna have a salvage title. So I got the bodywork fixed. And then wouldn't you know it, an oil light was on. And I just thought, oh, it's, it's fine. Well, it wasn't. The engine died after that. And thankfully my mechanic was able to make me a good deal. And he put in a used engine which only has 75,000 miles. So I'm very thankful for that and it's been running pretty well. 
on my odometer now, I have roughly 165,000 miles. So that's kind of like a new car, except for the transmission. Anyway, just wanted to give you that update on the vehicles. It seems like everybody's always trying to hit me and do some kind of damage. And I'll tell you what, vehicle incidents are not worth it. I always try to be very careful and stay far away from people and be extra cautious when I'm out delivering. Because one of the worst things is to have an accident. Think about it. Now you're not earning money and you're paying money to get your car fixed. No thank you. I'd rather be safe and careful than sorry. Hello again, just checking back in. I had a couple more deliveries after the last time we spoke and it was good. Thank you for joining me on this journey of sharing a little bit of that excitement of being busy. There's nothing worse than just sitting around and not making money. So it was very refreshing to get out and make some money today. And thanks again to John for encouraging me to just press record. Please share in the comments below, what's it like in your market? Have things been slow, busy? Are you trying different apps to see if there's other opportunities on there? All right, well, I look forward to catching up with you in the comments. And until I see you on my next video, take care and I'll see you. Bye.